Look. Hey guys, it's Body Chef Chris and my sous chef Capri. Looking all cute. Today we're gonna make a pumpkin cake with an eggnog cream cheese topping. I'm looking forward to it. She doesn't have teeth yet, so she doesn't get to enjoy it, but one day, baby, one day. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the cake batter right now. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees, get all warm and toasty, to get this cake rocking and rolling. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna melt that. We have a butter that's kind of melted a little bit, but not too much. It's gonna go right into our KitchenAid. Now, if you don't have a KitchenAid, you can use a hand mixer as well. Totally will work. So that's a stick and a half of butter. This time I'm gonna go with a one fourth cup stevia. All right, for our sweetener. You can use the Rithitol or Swerve as well. Um, and this is very similar to my carrot cake recipe we did last week. So the cool thing is all those ingredients you bought, you can use them again. All right, so these are a lot of the core ingredients for baking um, in keto. A lot of almond flour, coconut flour, so you're gonna use these things again and again. So don't, don't feel like you're purchasing it for one time. You better not. All right, so from here we're gonna do uh, one teaspoon of our vanilla. Perfect. Go right in the bowl. We're just gonna bring this bad boy up. And we're gonna start off low and slow and just bring it together. All right, so the wet ingredients are ready to rock and roll. We're gonna go with the dry ingredients, right? So this is an almond flour. We're gonna go with two and a half cups, all right? So that's one cup and a half. Perfect. Okay, from there we're gonna go with two teaspoons of the baking soda. All right, from there we're gonna go with two teaspoons of the pumpkin pie spice. And everything else is nice. Perfect. All right, from there we're just gonna bring this together. And then we're gonna fold it in together with the wet ingredients, the dry ingredients, slowly to make sure they're combined with no clumps so it's nice and smooth and a good texture later on. Right. Last but not least, the pumpkin. All right, so you can use canned pumpkin, you're organic, you can get this at Ralph's, Vaughn's, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, wherever you'd like, all right? So we're gonna do a half of can, or about four, sorry, eight ounces. All right, that's gonna go right in here. It's gonna mix in. Remember, pumpkin's pretty low carbohydrate because of the fiber count, so distributed this much over the whole cake is still gonna keep this a keto-style cake, which will fit for our macros and our lifestyle. So we're gonna get this mixed up. We're gonna put it into a pre-greased pan that we got ready to rock and roll over here. Let's go in the oven, eggnog, topping, coming next. All right, nectar of fall and the guts. All right, so this is gonna go right in the pan. We already have it greased up, ready to rock and roll. Make it look as pretty as possible. All right. All right, pumpkin's looking all pretty. So what I like to do is add a little swerve on top. So this is that Rithitol sweetener. And what this does, it almost gives it like a little crunch on the top, all right? Texture is key. All right, this is going right in the oven. 350 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the middle being cooked. Be back soon. All right, pumpkins in the oven, getting all glorious. So we're gonna do a cream cheese topping, going dairy free. All right, we get this at Trader Joe's. It is cream cheese, no lactose. Slippery when wet. All right, so this is going in the bowl. All right, from here we're gonna do about a quarter cup of stevia on the top. All right, now this is a especially thing. You can get this on Amazon. This is eggnog flavoring, okay? Now you don't have to do this. I've got a thing for eggnog and pumpkin. You put them together, magical. All right, so we're gonna do about a teaspoon here. Perfect. And last but not least, just for a kick of some freshness, we're gonna add some, some good nutmeg, ground nutmeg. Goes great with the eggnog, goes great with the pumpkin. And we're just gonna mix this all up and put it in the fridge and wait for our pumpkin pie to be done. So this is pretty much the... <laughs> Conrad's excited too. Pumpkin pie to be done. All right, so we're just gonna mix this all up, get it nice and flavorful, and it's going on the cake. After we put it in the fridge, let it cool down. You know it's fall time when pumpkin's in the air. All right, so one way to check the cake is done is you always wanna use a knife and you stick it right dab in the middle. If the knife comes out clean and clear, you're in the clear. 
All right, so cake is good, it's gloriously brown. We're gonna let this cool here. I know I wanna jump right in, but we can't. We gotta put the eggnog topping on, but I want it cool, otherwise it's gonna melt all this gloriousness. So about 10 to 15 minutes, let's put the topping on, and we're gonna have to wait for those Latinas to arrive before we can enjoy this tonight. A couple hours left to go, I think. All right, so when the cake is cool to the touch, it may be kissed with the eggnog cream cheese topping. Oh yeah, it doesn't get better than this. My two favorite things. I am more excited than you are, I'm not gonna lie. Eggnog and pumpkin, it's like Christmas and New Year's at the same time in mouth. All right, this has been picasso by eggnog cream cheese. Last thing, all right, because I like the cinnamon. Remember, cinnamon's a fat burner. It also is an antioxidant, it helps with inflammation. So I put it on everything, eh, almost. So we're gonna put this back in the fridge for our guests to arrive in about four to eight hours, you know, never know. And we'll show you us enjoying this keto pumpkin eggnog topped cake. Whew, it's gonna be good, Body Chef Chris.